Okay guys, I have a couple of skips that I want to show. Uh, the first time I do this skip, I'm just gonna not add too much commentary, just let you guys watch. Okay, so let's watch it again. Um, this time let me add some, some commentary. This is the hardest part right here. Um, getting the right bubble. So let me go back a few frames. So what you want to do is get a bubble that's kind of by itself because other bubbles can um, kind of get in the way. Um, so if there's like another close by bubble, you don't want that nearby. Um, so basically the, the right time, um, one of the right times, there's many ways of doing this, but the way I like to do it is if you jump from over here onto the bubble, you can push it down, and then you can just keep kind of pushing it down in basically the same spot. Maybe it goes up a teensy bit. But essentially what you want to do is you want to land on the bubble when the bubble is at this top, uh, like, circle thing right here. See this? See these circles? Um, when when that thing, when you if you land on it exactly when this laser starts, and you'll hear the laser, um, so right when you hear the laser, if you're landing on this bubble at this position, that's the best possible scenario. So let's go back a little bit and watch it. Um, just skip back a little bit. Jump, jump. Laser. So you could see that I landed on it at the exact right time. Now, uh, here, let me actually go back again. So, and what that does is you barely make, if you duck, you barely make it under this laser as it comes. So you can see that right before I get hit, it dissipates. And that's the best possible scenario. I'll show you another scenario where you don't have to, it doesn't have to be that perfect. But for this case, um, you know, the, the easiest, the most consistent way to do it is having that, that bubble in the exact right spot, which is this spot. Right when you're about to cross the line, it dissipates, the laser dissipates. And then let's just go through slow motion. So right after that, you just throw two ropes as quick as you can, move to the side, let them land, and each of them should hit twi uh, once. So um, go collect them right after the second one hits. So you collect things, let's speed it up again, and then right as you pass the other laser, you throw two more, and let them both bounce once each. And do this a third time. Okay, now this is getting interesting. So we've done it three times now. Right when this laser dissipates and you're crossing the, la the laser's position, see how the laser was right here? So as you're crossing the laser's position, jump and throw a rope, jump, throw a rope, and then jump again because if you don't have a perfect bubble position, this bubble could get destroyed by this um, laser and you'll still make it. So you jump again. In this case, the bubble remained, so you, I could have not jumped, but anyway. So, But you can see I never needed the bubble again. So, um, and you just climb the rope. And what that does is puts the rope right here so you can just climb up and you're safe. Um, so just climb up and you're done. And then you can use another rope to get up or if you have a cape or any other way of getting up there, you can get up there. Okay, so let's move on to the bubble of Vlad's cape skip. Now, it's the exact same thing, um, except we're not going to use ropes. So you have to have the same bubble position and everything. But And now, so do you see what I did there? I'm just double jump and then single jump. Double jump, single jump. Double. Uh, well, you could keep going actually with the bubble. but So this one's a lot easier, um, in my opinion. And here's the bubble skip. So you get the bubble in the exact same spot and then jump, big jump, little jump, big jump, little jump, big jump, little jump, and of course throw the rope. And in this case, I threw it too high, but you can just grab to the, grab the ledge if you need to. Oh, I wanted to show one more thing. So if your bubble positioning isn't perfect, let's look at this one. So you can see that when I landed, I was much lower than I typically like to be. So do you see the bubble is 
the laser's already started. I'm late to the party. So basically, I'm behind, meaning the bubble's going to be too low. But it's not low by that much, and I know that I can salvage this. So let's see what I do. Throw one rope. Let it bounce twice. So when you throw a rope all the way up and it hits, it pushes the bubble down a certain amount. But if you let it bounce twice, the second bounce pushes it down, but just a teensy bit. So what you can do from there if, you're, if your bubble's too low, you want it to be higher, so you don't want to push it down as much. So in, in that case, I was able to, let's go back and just watch it in real time. So my bubble's too low. I didn't just barely clear the thing. So I threw one rope, let it bounce twice, and then I just continue on normal. Two ropes, two ropes, and jump and throw. And look, in that case, you could see the bubble actually got destroyed. Um, let me just go back a few frames. Uh, let's just get back. So you can see the bubble got destroyed right there. Um, it's gone. So, um, yeah, that's how I do the, the skips. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you guys learned something. There's obviously many ways of doing um, the tricks. And I've seen some videos about people using shotgun to get that extra boost. Basically, the principle is that if you barely clear the first laser on a buzzle, but on a bubble, then you need to push the bubble down twice, three times under three lasers, and then, uh, and then you're done. And if the first one, if your bubble's too low, but you still clear the the uh, first laser, you can push it down once, or one in a bit. Um, like basically push it down one and a half times with a rope. You could even use, if you have Vlad's cape, you can use one rope for that first one. If, if the positioning is um, a little bit too low, you can use a rope. And then from then, for after you use that first rope, then you can use the spring shoes or the Vlad's cape. Um, so this is kind of the, the reason I have these is because um, when I don't have climbing gloves or jetpack, then it's really it's been really difficult to do the skip so yep hope you guys enjoy